Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about semen retention by my uh, two-year update. Uh, you know, two years ago today was, I think, day one for me. So, yeah. Uh, just want to talk about some benefits. Um, so, yeah. We're going to start off with the power. Straight up. The power, the power, the power. Th that was the first one I thought of when, you know, I, I knew I was going to make this video. Because it's, it's just godlike. I mean, straight up, it's, you, you know, you're just beaming with power. And, um, you know, others sense that, and we're going to get to that. And uh, with that power, you know, obviously you're going to be more bold. You know, others are, like I said, going to sense that on you. And people are going to, you know, respect you more than the average person because of that. Because of, you know, your radiance. You're going to shine like the sun for real. Alright, so the next one is ideas will flow to you more. Or you could say you'll be more creative. And this is absolutely true. It just feel, you know, you're just going to be more in tune with all that is when you're on semen retention. So, of course, you know, you're going to get, I've heard this term, you know, in like the spiritual community or whatever, you're going to get downloads, like, you know, downloads of information. It's kind of like just getting this, getting information that just clicks. It just, just out of the blue, you didn't expect it, but information came to you that just clicks. And it's like this realization, you know, it just happened. Yeah, like I said, ideas will flow to you, flow to you more. You'll get these like super cool ideas. And I, this always happens to me. And when this happens, most times I'll, you know, find my phone, get my phone, put them down in my phone. Um, if it's, you know, ideas I can put into motion in a, in a way that I like, you know. All right, so the next one is... More synchronicities will occur when you're on semen retention. You know, you're going to be on your, you're going to be more so on your path than not when you're on semen retention because you're, mo you're most likely going to, with this new energy, as long as you're, you're building it up. Now, I'm not talking about people that just go for like a week and then, you know, keep basically people that keep re relapsing after a week. I'm talking about like doing this as, people really should, which I'll talk more about in a minute, you know, more synchronicities will occur when you are doing what you should in life. And semen retention is a, I guess, catalyst to propel you to do what you should be doing in life. You know, like I said, you'll, you'll be in more in tune with all that is right. So of course you're going to see more synchronicities. And then, like I said, especially when you were doing what you should be doing in life. For example, I can't make this up, you guys. I, <laughs> I can't make this up. As I was jotting down some points for this video, because I have my phone beside me right now with points that I wanted to talk about in this video. You know what happens when I was putting some points down on my phone this morning? Her buzzing or ringing in my left ear. Some of you guys may not know what that is, but that is, I've made a video about this a long time ago on my channel, but that's what I believe is higher beings, uh, benevolent beings, or angels, I, I like I like to call them angels, I like to think of them as angels, letting me know, they're, they're sending me that frequency, kind of to let me know that I'm on the right path, I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. Can't even make that up, you guys. And I knew I was going to talk about it in this video uh, as well. Once that happened, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to mention that. Because it just fits into my point too perfectly not to bring up. Continuing. On semen retention, you will have enhanced mental clarity. And even visual clarity, in my opinion. Because it just seems like everything's like way more beautiful looking on semen retention like just taking walks out in nature like everything literally looks more vibrant and um i think that's because when you are 
storing your seed, not just wasting it all the time. It's it's somehow I'm I'm not a scientist. I don't know all the you know the kind of like sciencey stuff behind it, but uh, it I'm pretty sure the nutrients from the semen or you know nourish your eyes. It, it like helps with nourishing your your the quality of your eyes, and um, of course your eyes sight. So it only makes sense. And I just watched a video actually. Um, to refresh myself, I wanted to know more about that. And there's some connection between the eyes, the brain, like the brain and the eyes use a lot of the same nutrients. And, um, a lot of those nutrients are found in semen. So it's no surprise that what I'm saying here, you know, fits in right with that. Yeah. Um, and just to go back to what I was saying, how others will respect you more when you're on semen retention. You know, they'll respect you more than the average person because of your radiance, how you carry yourself. In my experience, this may be partly because of just kind of how I am. Like, I feel like I'm treated with more class than the average person at times. It, like, people just sense a purity off of me. Like, I remember one time I was conducting some business. That day, I was feeling... I was feeling divine, you know, so I'm walking, I'm walking like it. I'm really walking like it. You know how some days you'll just feel super, super divine and you're just walking like it. And uh, of course, why am I feeling like that? A lot of the reason I'm feeling like that is because of semen retention. Because semen retention is what started my whole journey into truth and just this whole world I've been involved in the last, you know, the past four years. But anyways, so this guy basically seeing how I carried myself how I was shining, got that divine glow on me. He, he, he basically was like, has someone taken care of this gentleman? But it's the way he said it. I know, like, I know some people say that to, you know, just the average person, but I know he said that because he sensed that I was not an average person, that I had this X factor about me, had this certain energy to me. And how do, how do I really know that? Because I know the guy from school. Uh, don't know if he recognized me from school. I knew him from school and he ain't talking like that to nobody else. You know what I mean? So, and it's the, you, you know, you kind of just had to be there like the way he said it. Like I, look, I, I know what I know. You know, that's just one example. Really, that type of stuff's going to happen more. And you, of course, you got to be on semen retention and, and walk with confidence and all that too. But you know what I mean? Semen retention really launches you into being more confident, you know, really walking in your power, like I said. But to continue on, so on semen retention, you're going to act more like the royalty that you truly are rather than the animal that you've been conditioned to be. I'm going to say that again. On semen retention, you're going to act more like the royalty that you truly are rather than the animal that you've been conditioned to be. Because semen retention is actually natural. It's actually the natural way. And I don't hear people talk about this at all, but it needs to be addressed. Semen retention, like, should be the norm. But in this world we're in, people have allowed themselves to be conditioned into being animals. You know, semen retention is not truly special. It should, it, it's really the normal, natural thing to do. You know, there's powers that be that have convinced humanity that they're just hopeless, sinful animals. And that's just simply not true. You know, we are gods. I mean, it, it's not natural to jack off, okay? <laughs> it's not natural to masturbate. Like, come on. Come on, guys. We, It's 2024. Humanity should know the truth by now. Everybody should know this because do you really think jacking off at all, at all, I mean, like, even one time is natural? No. Do you, do you think that's, like, favored, a favored act by the universe? Hell no. Hell no. The only time you should expound your sexual energy is with a woman, and even at that, and really, really only 
I mean, if, if I'm going to be really hardcore with it, truly you need to only expand it with a woman when creating a child. But I'm not against people having fun, okay? I'm not. My thing is about all this, you know, it's okay to have fun, but people abuse the absolute fuck out of all this. You know what I mean? People are having sex with everybody. You know, anybody that will with them. Anybody. It don't matter. That That's just how people are nowadays. But, um, you know, I am going to say, if you're going to have sex with somebody, they have to be at least close to the same level or standards that, that you are, that you hold yourself to. Because, man, me personally, shoot, I, I don't intend, now I'm not perfect, I'm not saying I can't slip up, but I do not intend to ever engage in any sexual activity with somebody that's not cl at least close to my standards. And I have high ass standards, so, because <laughs> you gotta understand, sex is sacred, okay? Sex is sacred. Sex is spiritual. You know, it wasn't meant to be abused. Um, so, you know, a big reason why most marriages nowadays end in divorce is because of, of people abusing sex. It's so true. Cause it's, cause you gotta understand, when you abuse sex, you're, you're literally degenerating yourself okay into like i said an animal so the quality of you as a quote-unquote human being which i really a lot of quote-unquote human beings i wouldn't even consider you know a real human being but um anyways if you're you know one that abuses sex you're not going to be a quality person you know because standards in society have gone down just drastically since, let's say, the 50s and 60s, right? So, of course, the divorce rate is going to skyrocket. But, yeah, so that's all I really had to say about that. Because, well, actually, I'll, I will expound on it more. Because, I mean, you know, when quality, when you have two quality people, okay, in a relationship versus two uh, people who are not quality human beings, whose relationship do you think is going to actually last? Or at least last longer? You know what I mean? It is just simple. It's really just common sense. Anyways, um, okay, so on semen retention, you will have more control of your emotions as lust is one of the strongest emotions. You know, then the others that are not as strong are a piece of cake to tame. So yeah, uh, emotional stability will increase when you're on semen retention. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Uh, what else? Okay, so I want to make a point to put your newfound energy towards something productive. So when you're on semen retention, obviously your energy will increase. And you need to put that energy towards... I don't know, like new outlets, right? Because if not, you're more likely to relapse. I'll, I'll just tell you my own kind of experience with this. I didn't relapse this time. This time that I'm going to talk about, I didn't relapse. But um, what was it? It was a couple. It was at the end of 2022, I believe. Like from man, when was it from? Maybe like September. To like November, it was like two two and a half months. I want to say it was all I was doing when I was on semen retention at that time is going to work and watching TV and YouTube. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I was enjoying myself. You know, I had recently just got a you know my first apartment, so I, you know I, that that was another part of the reason I was kind of you know enjoying myself, kind of living it up, like oh I'm feeling like I made it, you know, <laughs> made it out of my parents' house, I made it, so I'm just gonna work and and then enjoy myself. But the longer I did that, because like I said, I did it for two and a half months. The longer I 
I did that, I, the more I started to go crazy. After two and a half months, I had it. I had to do something with my energy, and I put it into going back to making posts, you know, my, like, Gematria decodes and my, my videos that go along with them. I, I just felt like I had all this, like, mental energy just there, just there. And I wasn't, like, balanced out. Like, I, I just needed to do something with it, and it was always there. Like, it was always this, like, energy in my mind, like, in my brain, in my head. Like, I, I don't know how to really explain it, and I just wasn't doing anything with it. And it's like, it kind of caused me to go a little insane, especially, you know, I was just in my apartment all the time, you know, think about it, watching TV and doing all this. And, you know, I'm a, I'm not, I can't sit, really sit still. I can't really... You know what I mean? Like, I'm not really one of those people, even though I was doing that at the time. But yeah, so I definitely, you know, you're on this journey, on this path of seeing your attention. You're going to want to put that energy, you know, your newfound energy, if you're just starting, uh, seeing your attention. You're going to want to put this newfound energy into certain outlets. Um, you know, being productive. Anyways, so when you're on semen retention, it's no, it's no surprise that your sperm quality is going to improve. Your manhood size is going to increase, I would say, both ways, girth and length. <laughs> so, uh, you, obviously, too, your sack is going to be not, it's not going to be a shriveled up raisin. It's, it's going to be, it's going to look like a fruit, you know what I mean? It's going to look like a, like a grapefruit or something, I don't know. It's going to look full, it's going to look healthy, not drained, you know? I mean, it's really like, <laughs> bro, it's like really like common stuff like this. It should just, like, these little, even like the physical signs that I'm talking about here, it should just tell people, semen retention is the natural way. It is nothing special. Like, I can't get over... Like, now that I'm on this path and have been the, on this path for a, a long time now, I can't get over how society is. Like, how they think. How they think this is normal. But they're not thinking. That's the problem. You know what I mean? They've been brainwashed into thinking that this is normal. So, please. I'm gonna... Like, I'm gonna say this again. It, I think everybody watching this video at least needs to try it. For God's sake. Try it. Just try it. What do you got to lose? I mean, if, you know what I mean? Like, go a week, see how you feel. And then if you want to keep going, you know, if you feel like you've gained something after that week, then continue. <laughs> Join humanity again, for real. For real. Like, if I'm being for real. Because this is, this is natural. Like I said, it's really nothing special. It's only special because our society is so, so degenerate. You know, we've literally devolved. I'm on the type of time to where it's like, it's 2024. Humanity needs to get its shit together. And I'm sick, I, I really, I'm, I'm really sick of seeing, you know, the, de the degeneracy in this world. I really am. And you know, I'm not perfect either, okay? I'm, I'm like, my little imperfection is being gluttonous. I like, and I, I don't eat the healthiest foods. I, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but, you know, as human beings, we we can do so much fucking better. I mean, it's really it's really embarrassing. I really feel bad for people when I just like <laughs> just thinking about the average person. I'm just kind of like sad. But anyways, um, I digress. I digress. So when you're on semen retention, um, of course your overall health improves. You know, mental, your physical, but but specifically your immune system will be stronger. Okay. Your, your immune system will be stronger on semen retention as sperm holds essential vitamins and minerals. Um, think about the tree of life. We are the tree of life, okay? What do trees have? They have sap, right? Do trees constantly release their sap? No, why should we? Trees hold their sap, and what does that do? It nourishes the freaking tree. So why the fuck wouldn't you hold your sap? Why wouldn't, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't you hold your seed? Why wouldn't you nourish yourself? Because well, when you, when you expound your energy all the time, your sexual energy all the time, you're killing yourself. 
you're going to literally live longer when you're on semen retention. No lie. You're going to live longer. You're, you're going to age like a fine wine. Your skin's going to be better. Semen retention is like, it has endless benefits. It literally, like, literally it has endless benefits. And it's looked at as, like, a, a superpower. But really, this is just our natural state. And that should tell you something about how you, who you truly are, what a human being truly is. Truly divine gods. Simple. And, but yeah. Alright, so your immune system, like I said, will be stronger on semen retention as your sperm holds essential vitamins and nutrients such as vitamin C, lactic acid, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, vitamin B12, zinc, sodium, and, you know, more. But these act as an antioxidants, and this says here, you know, these act as antioxidants and help your immune system by warding off free radicals. I'm going to be honest with you. No clue what the fuck that means. I have no clue what the fuck that means. I do know what, you know, I do understand the first part that I've talked about, you know, what I got highlighted here. But, um, I don't know what the, what the hell free radicals are. No clue. I just know it definitely boosts your immune system. You know, being on semen retention definitely boosts your immune system. And I know that your nails, you know, your fingernails and your toenails, they grow faster as well as your hair. Your hair also grows faster when you're on semen retention. Because, like I said, just all these nutrients, the, the essential vitamins and nutrients that you get from retaining your seed. And two, with the fingernail thing, I know there's calcium in fingernails. And I want to say maybe zinc. And that's why your fingernails will also grow a lot faster as well. So Manly P. Hall, a guy that's into the occult, the esoteric. An author that I really like. Um, in his book, The Initiates of the Fr Flame, which I've actually read, he call he says that man's spiritual fire is one that can only be fed by the purest oils. So, what does he mean by sp man's spiritual fire? Well, I'm going to interpret that as basically he's talking about man's soul. That can only be fed by, you know, retaining his seed. Because by the purest oils, he means sperm. The, gener the generative force. And he was also a mason. Uh, masons, they, they wear this apron, right? And their, their, uh, Masonic G symbol is right over their sexual organ, obviously, because, like I said, they they wear the apron with that G in the middle of it. And what does the G stand for? The G, I think the G honestly stands for a lot of things, but one of the things that it stands for is generative principle. You know, hence why they, like I said, why they wear it right over their uh, sexual organ, you know, shout out to this Reddit page, but, um, these societies, these secret societies obviously know the power of it, although, of course, not, <laughs> the, the vast majority of Masons are not even true Masons, okay, they're gonna be just like any other average person wasting their seed basically whenever they can <laughs> but the true mason i'm sure manly p hall i mean i don't know this for sure but i'm sure manly p hall truly like retained his seed and didn't always you know waste it and you know what i mean so all right so i just wanted to basically expand on the mental clarity benefit uh, when you're on semen retention. Well, so I pulled up this this person's post on Reddit. And basically, he says that his brain works and thinks faster. And that's because, kind of like I mentioned earlier, when you're on semen retention, the nutrients, you know, it it nourishes your brain. 
like I said, I'm not a man of science, so I don't exactly understand how, you know, holding your seed nourishes the brain. Like, I don't know, you know, biologically how that works. Um, but there is a connection between sperm and cerebrospinal fluid. I would encourage you guys to maybe check out this, I don't know, this blog. Uh, maybe I'll leave it linked. You know, cerebrospinal fluid is in the spine, obviously. Okay, well, maybe let me correct myself. Maybe it's not in the spinal cord. I'm not sure if it is, but it's at least like this, like this blog says, it's around it. But it, and it's also around the brain. And, and also provides, uh, protection and nutrients. This article basically says, there's a more of a connection between cerebrospinal fluid and sperm than previously thought. I, I honestly don't know, and it sounds like you know they don't really know, or maybe they you know science. Uh, let me tell you this: science actually knows a lot uh, more than they let on. It's just if they let you know all that they know, it, it doesn't fit the agenda of you know the powers that be. But anyways, so. You know, when you retain your seed, does it somehow trigger more cerebrospinal fluid to be produced once it reaches a certain height within your system? And then producing more cerebrospinal fluid, you know, it, it like nourishes ventricles in your brain. So is that what it is? Like, I, I you know, it sounds like, you know, no one exactly knows. I've done a good bit of research on this topic. Throughout all my research, it just sounds like, like there's not a, there's not a really a clear scientific explanation, um, when it comes to semen retention and, you know, its effects. I mean, I do know, you know, the powers that be, like I said, they're, when it comes to this, you know, the, this would really empower people and, I'm sure they, I mean, I know for a fact they're definitely, you know, hiding information, but also it could be me. You know, I need, I don't even think I have a single book on semen retention, you know, like specifically. So maybe I need to get, get some books on, on this topic and really try to understand the, the science behind these effects of semen retention so but anyways see because it says right here cerebrospinal fluid is produced by a structure in the brain called however you pronounce that i'm just going to highlight i'm not even going to try to pronounce it and this specialized tissue filters blood plasma and secretes cerebrospinal fluid into the ventricles of the brain then cerebrospinal fluid then flows th throughout the central nervous system, providing vital support and cushioning. Like I said, not a science guy. I don't I, I don't understand exactly how this works, but I just know that it does. Um, but this is definitely um, a a connection that needs to be further researched by all of us. Moving on, what you got to understand is. The mind and the brain are not the same. The, because the brain is just a receiver of mind. Okay? Like I talked about downloads, you know, that's why people say they get downloads and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you're going to nourish your brain, you know, nourish your receiver, of course, you're going to get more from the mental plane. Just get, you're just going to be more in tune with the mental plane, right? So this is why, you know, you have geniuses like Isaac Newton and Nikola Tesla who were on semen retention, and you see, and those guys are geniuses. And it says here that Tesla stated that many of his best ideas came to him in a flash, and that he saw detailed pictures of many of his inventions in his mind before he ever set about constructing prototypes. I will say too, 
um, now that I bring up Nikola Tesla. It's been said that he only needed two hours of sleep every day. And that's a big reason why he got so much done. Now, having said that, I've now found a couple of sources, uh, including this one, that have stated that Nikola Tesla devoted just five hours a day to rest. And that includes two for actual sleep. So given that information, it makes more sense. You know, it, it's not so unbelievable that um, he only slept two hours a day. Now that I know outside of his two hours of sleep, he got three hours of rest each day as well, which previously I did not know. I had only heard that he got two hours of sleep you know, each day, thinking that was all the rest he got throughout each day. I bring up the sleeping habit of Nikola Tesla, who again practiced semen retention, because I will say, when you are on semen retention, obviously you have more energy, right? You need less sleep. I, me personally, I only need, like truly like need, like five and a half hours of sleep. Let's just say six. Let's just say six, right? If I only need six hours of sleep and the average person needs eight, you know, I have two more hours a day. You can do so much with two hours, two more hours in a day. So you gotta understand successful people, the powers that be, Specifically, they know this, and that's why they have that's why they have such a jump on humanity on the average person, okay, or this is one reason why they do, but to move on, also you know think about what you're doing when you're jacking off, okay, think about like what you're actually doing, what you're simulating, right you're simulating. That you're, you know, fucking a, a pussy, right? I mean, you know, excuse my language, but <laughs> you know what I mean? You're simulating that. I mean, that's just loser shit, you know what I mean? That's just, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, at least from the level that I'm on, you know, that that's just how I see it, you know? Um, that's just weak, weak shit. I mean, that's just weakness. Um... This really goes for the people that, especially for the people that do it, you know, every day. The people that do it every day or even a few times a week really goes for those people, which is most guys. But yeah, that was my spiel. Holy shit, I've been talking for a long time. This is a banger, so like, share, and subscribe. Let's get this knowledge out there. Um, If you want to support me and... You know, my work, uh, please, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna beg. You don't have to if you don't want to. But, um, consider supporting me on Patreon, only one dollar a month. But yeah, um, that is all I had to say. So thank you guys for watching and I'm out. Peace.